everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today's video is going to be my nail polish collection, but I wanted to come on here and do a little bit of a brief intro so you guys can get to know me a little bit better and I, I am going to do a disclaimer. First, let's talk about my collection and how I acquired my collection. So I started collecting nail polish. It's been about three years now that I've started collecting nail polish. I've always had a love for nail polish and nail art or art in general. Painting my nails and doing nail art is a form of relaxation for me when I'm feeling stressed. It's just kind of become this daily ritual for me. I've actually been doing nail art since I was very, very young. I used to buy those little kits from like the drugstore, like, like the little Kiss kits or um, I can't even remember the other one. Kiss is pretty much the, the big brands that I used to buy that was readily available um, to me. But I had to stop painting my nails for about six years because I was active duty military and about once a year for about six weeks, I had training where I was allowed to wear regular clothes and paint my nails. So I did start purchasing like one or two nail polishes during that six week period. And I slowly fell back in love with nail polishes. But once I got out of the military, got out of active duty service, that's when I really, really started purchasing collections. and. My collection has really expanded mainly due to a lot of indie polishes. I'm not a nail technician, so a lot of these polishes I pretty much just use on myself and friends and family. Now I know this is a lot of nail polish for just one person, but like I said, this is my passion. This is my my hobby. I absolutely love nail polish. Nail polish brings me joy. As you'll see, I have nail polish racks all over my office because I like to display them. I like to use them as decoration. Every time I look at my nail polish racks, it just makes me happy. And I choose to spend my money the way I want to spend my money. I live within my means. I am married, so I do have a dual income household. But even, even that being said, like, I feel that the money you earn, you should spend it the way you want to spend it and the way that makes you happy as long as you're living within your means. And I am. I'm living within my means, so I don't see anything wrong with having a collection as big as I do. I mean, I've seen bigger collections, but I know I have a big, a, a big collection. My husband fully supports me. My friends fully support me. I don't want to ramble on and on, but I did want to give that disclaimer that this video is not necessarily for like bragging rights or anything like that. I just wanted to show my joy, my passion to you guys and for all you fellow nail polish lovers who also enjoy nail polish. Hopefully some of the racks that I have or some of the organizational ideas you guys can, can utilize or they'll give you guys ideas because I didn't purchase the very typical nail polish organization things that people have because I didn't, I choose to spend my money on my nail polish and not on these expensive organizational racks or like I don't have like the Ikea drawer, I have a cheaper drawer system that works just fine. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry if it's a little bit shaky. I did my best to try and make this video not as shaky and then I also tried to give you guys good lighting. I am going to split the video up into two parts so it won't be that long of the video. This intro is probably already like super long so I apologize for that but I did want you guys to, to get to know me a little bit better and if you're interested please keep on watching. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my nail polish collection. So I just wanted to show you guys an overview of my room. This is actually my office. So this is my main desk area where I do all my schoolwork and I own a small business. So I run everything out of there. And in this corner here, we have two nail polish racks and a smaller nail polish rack. And I will go into detail I will show you guys everything that is on those nail polish racks. And on this side of the room here is my nail and makeup desk. So I have two small racks and a larger rack and then pretty much everything on top of the desk with the exception of 
one of those acrylic organizers is um, makeup just one of them is nail art and then I have this drawer organizer that I purchased off of Amazon and this desk that I purchased off of Target and I'll leave everything linked down below and lastly I have this nail polish center that I purchased off of Amazon and the cool thing about this is that it actually um, rotates so I have the majority of my Zoya polishes there but again I will go into detail everything that I have on all of my nail polish racks and in my drawers just keep on watching if you're interested to see what's on each individual nail rack so I'm going to start off with this first nail polish rack in the corner and this one is the one that's furthest away from my nail desk it's actually closer to my computer desk and I'm sorry if the camera is a bit shaky but I am trying to give you guys um, the best angle to show you all of the nail polishes so on this top row here I have all of my on the, actually these top two rows I have all of my Jamberry nail polishes so I do organize my nail polishes by brand and then by color so I have my greens, my blues, purples leading into hot pink. Then I have another green down here, yellows, browns, nudes, gray, and then that one on the end is a black. And then down here I have more purples, pinks, light pinks, peaches. Um, I have three glitter polishes from Jamberry and then some reds. Um, corally reds and another hot pink here so I did try to organize these based on color and then this bottom row here I have some pure ice and I purchased these um, I want to say Walmart is where I got those and then some random um, glitter sinful colors one um, yellow cover girl and then this one is Pop Popazzi. I believe I purchased this um, at CVS. So these are just kind of my random glitters, and I like to use these for um, the ones on the back here. Are they're all glitters? I like to use these for um, jelly sandwiches. This is the smaller rack that we just looked at. So this is the very very top rack of the two racks that I have, and I primarily have all of my China Glaze and OPIs here. On the very, very top here, I have all of my Butter Londons. I haven't quite organized them by color yet, but I, I just have them separated by brand at this point. And then I have two, um, these are two, like, colorful top coats by Salon Perfect. And I want to say this is, like, the Walmart brand. Um, down here I have Sephora by OPIs and this is the Sephora by OPI Reds collection. I have more Salon Perfect glitters. Then I have all of my Julep polishes and I have organized these by color. Then the next row I have my OPIs. These are my three OPI color paints and the base coat. Some um, OPI liquid sands. Um, I have some glitters, then I'm getting into the lights, and then blues, some darker blues, a green, and then these are like my peachy, um, my peachy pinks. Then I have uh, OPI's Teenage Dream, some more glitters, and I'm getting into some darker colors and darker purples. And then this is the entire OPI by Hello Kitty, or Hello Kitty by OPI collection. I am missing one polish because I did do um, a nail art with it. Then down here we have my China glazes. So I have two smaller China glazes. These are not quite the minis. So this is the size of a mini. These are like a medium bottle but I got them on sale and I didn't have those colors in my collection so this is hang ten toes and turned up turquoise so my china glaze I actually have them semi organized by color but I also have them organized by collection so this is the last summer's collection 
with um, the collection. Here's Ready to Rave. I can't remember the name of the collection. I'll insert it somewhere on the screen if I can um, remember. But these are all the neons from that uh, summer collection. And then these over here are the Halloween polishes from last year. So I purchased the creams and the glitters from the Halloween polish. And these two here are actually my absolute favorite china glazes. And this is China Glaze It's Alive and China Glaze um, Zombie Zest. I recently acquired this. I actually found it at a nail salon and the lady was willing to sell it to me. So now we're going to move on to this bottom rack here where I, uh, I still have um, my china glazes. Starting on this end, I have some lighter lighter greens, so like we have um, Refreshment from China Glaze. Then I go into um, my blues, and then purples, and then I have, um, this is Strawberry Fields from China Glaze. I go into, um, this is a much brighter polish, it's actually not showing up that bright on camera, but this is um, China Glaze's Pool Party. Then I have um, some more peachier tones. And um, these are yellow. So these are actually a lot brighter. They're not showing up that bright because um, my lighting is a little off. And this is uh, Celtic Sun by China Glaze. And then these are all my glitters um, from China Glaze. So I have um, It's a Trapeze, um, Fairy Dust. And then these are uh, two glitter toppers, a silver and a gold. And then um, this one is Star Hopping and moonlight the, the light i actually purchased this um, in a haul then i have my minis over here so i have the uh, 2016 um, summer collection the mini set uh, whip it good and then i had purchased the mini set for these polishes up here for last year's summer collection to just to see if I liked the colors and the formula. I ended up liking them, so I did purchase the entire collection in full size, but I keep these because I do a lot of nail art with them. These are good uh, for water marbling. Down here, I have all of my KB shimmers. So I've tried to organize these um, by finish. So these are most of my Crellies or Crelly glitters from KB Shimmer. Um, these are all of my my white Crowleys on camera they do um, all kind of look the same but this one is um, Prince Charming from the current collection um, the, the spring collection I believe is when Prince Charming came out um, so these are all kind of my uh, my glitters or glitter toppers so you have what's your um, this is scribble me this I have a Valentine's Day one called um, Candy Cane Crush. This one is just a light pink um, hollow. It's like a neutral color that didn't really fit anywhere else. And then down here I have all of my KB Shimmer holographic and glittery polishes. And I have arranged it from, from by color. So this one is Night Bright, which is the black uh, holographic glitter from them. And I, then I go into some browns and purples. I have some pinks, then some reds, then some peaches, golds and yellows, greens blues and then finally um, silver and then down here I have my darker ones so I have a black two purples and then these two are like the um, multi-chrome or duochrome ones And then lastly, I have my Glisten and Glow um, collection. And this is the, I believe this was co the Cocktails collection, round one. I wasn't able to get the other um, part of the collection, but I've left a little room here because I do plan on getting the rest of that collection. So now let's move on to this area of my room. And I'm going to start with this small rack right here. And this is where I keep most of my glam polishes. So I have them organized by collection and color. I don't know if you guys can see. I've organized them so that there's a little space in between them and you can see the colors in the back, at least I can see them. 
And I do have these, um, I have buffing blocks kind of right here to uh, separate this and uh, create uh, two rows. I've purchased these are actually uh, spice racks. These are actually spice racks that I purchased off of Amazon, but it is pretty wide, which is why I can fit two rows of polishes. So I have my glam, glam polishes up top and in the middle here, and then I recently acquired all of my pretty serious polishes. So if you've seen my recent hauls, my glam polish haul and my pretty serious haul, you'll be able to see all of most of these polishes um, swatched here for you. But for the most part, I have my my lighter glam polishes up top, then my more intense glam, glam polishes down on the bottom, and all of my pretty serious so far uh, fit down here. This rack I actually purchased specifically for 90 Lacquer. 90 Lacquer is my all-time favorite nail polish brand. It's it's I have every single polish it from that she's released so far. So I have it organized by collection. So right here we have her um, her fall collection from last year. So this is like her harvest collection that she did. And then I have her uh, fall and Christmas collection. Um, I do have one polish missing here. It's a peculiar star. It's going to be in um, her the most current uh, 90 lacquer haul that I have. So then down here I have her Valley Isles collection and then this is the uh, Roy G. Biv collection that she recently did and then um, her spring collection. These are all of her polishes of the year. So this one right here is January, February, March, April, May, June and I'm currently swatching July. And then these are her toppers. So I have hollow all the things and then sparkle all of the things um, gold and silver. And this last rack here to the right is where I keep all of my gel polishes. So starting at the top, I have all of my CND polishes or um, these are shellac polishes. Then I have a few gelish minis. Then here I have all of my jellies by China Glaze. I absolutely love this gel polish. I have two, almost two full uh, rows. Um, I am trying to get every single color from this collection because, like I said, it is my favorite gel polish. I am thinking about doing a video all about gel polishes because I, I, I have tried other brands and I do have a, a few other brands, but this definitely is my number one brand. And then these are all of my larger stamping polishes from um, Mundo de Uñas. This is my favorite um, stamping uh, polish brand. So I keep my larger ones up here. So these are all of like my metallic ones. I have my black and white. And then um, this is the current black that I'm using. This is a backup of it. But I do use black and white the most. 